dreamers seeking fortunes. Today's dreamers and risk takers come less for nature's sake than for the lure of a city. Tonight, two football teams have come to town to pursue their dreams. The ace for Bowling Green is senior quarterback and two-time MAC Offensive Player of the Year, Eric White. His favorite target, Mark Slachik, the league's all-time leading receiver. But for luck, how about Nevada's pair of winning quarterbacks? Both equally adept at leading their team's high-powered offense. Fred Gatlin is the starter and the better scrambler of the two. Chris Vargas provides the comeback magic off the bench. For both, the big play man has been the Big West phenom, Brian Reeves. ESPN presents the 1992 Las Vegas Bowl, which pits the champions of the Big West Conference against the champions of the Mid-American Conference. Tonight, it's the Nevada Wolfpack versus the Bowling Green Falcons. Last night in downtown Las Vegas, they blocked off Fremont Street, right in the heart of the casino district, and he held a huge pep rally for tonight's ball game. Cheerleaders and band members from Nevada and Bowling Green were there, along with their teams. And tonight, the waiting and the words are over. Folks, it's bowl time in Las Vegas. <laughs> Gottfried, and welcome to the entertainment capital of the world. It is football time. A little chilly tonight, unusually cold, in fact, for Las Vegas, Nevada, but number one is on deck, and we're set to play football. Mike, as far as Nevada is concerned, it's really a fairy tale story. This time last year, they're one double A. They moved to Division One, and in their very first year, they win their conference. Here they are right now in a Division One bowl game. Ron, it's all about respect in this football game because they're moving up from Division One double A to Division One, and the key for them tonight is that they can throw the football and throw it successfully, their two quarterbacks, to Brian Reeves and not allow Bowling Green on the other side of the ball to run the football down their throat with their strong running game. Well, speaking to the Falcons of Bowling Green, they already have a lot of respect as far as the MAC Conference is concerned in the Midwest part of the nation. They have not lost a conference game in the last two years. In fact, this season, they finished at 9-2, and two, and the only people to knock them off were Big Ten opponents, Ohio State and Wisconsin. And in their quarterback, Eric White, Nevada, I think he's going to see the best quarterback they've seen certainly all year. Ron, you're right. He's the key to the offense. He's six foot six. He has a strong passing arm. He does a great job of hiding the football with his play action fakes, and he's the key to their offense. And one thing that we don't have to preview, one of these schools has a cannon. <laughs> we will be back with the starting lineups and tonight's kickoff of this inaugural Las Vegas Bowl right after this. ESPN's presentation of the 1992 Las Vegas Bowl is being brought to you by Las Vegas, the entertainment and event capital of the world. Hey, football fans, how about pulling up a seat, grab some drinks, relax a bit, and party with ESPN's home video. College Football Funnies, hosted by Chris Fowler. Talk about a head-turner. Call now to order. Operators are standing by. 1-800-523-9600. College Football Funnies can be yours for just $19.95. So call now. At lunchtime, choose Chinese, but drink French. Trimbach Alsace Pinot Blanc. At nighttime, serve New England, but drink French. Bacon Luni Le Charme. At dinner time, savor the USA, but drink French. Chateau Graysac Bordeaux. At party time, net Nova Scotian, but drink French. Perrier Jouet Champagne. For your free guide to more great French wines, call 1-800-522-WINE. It's a great time to be French.
Las Vegas, Nevada, and what you're looking at is the Silver Bowl. That's what the stadium is called. Well, Mike, we have established tonight that both of these teams like to throw the football, and both have outstanding quarterbacks. What about the secondaries? Well, our third person on the telecast tonight is Charlene Hawks, and let's go down to her at Fieldside. Charlene, what about the secondaries? Well, Ron, the secondaries for both teams have established themselves as solid threats to any quarterback hoping to make a connection. In fact, Bowling Green secondary is known as the Killer Bees. Brooks, Bear, Belinsky, and Barres are the reasons why. But the story for Nevada that could be an opening for a Bowling Green blowout is who is not on their secondary. They're missing the guy who makes all the calls and adjustments, free safety, Xavier Carey, who uh, was suspended today for academic reasons. He's an all-Big West player, and his loss will restrict what the defense can do with their coverages. In particular, it might force them out of some all-out blitzes. Ron? Okay, Charlene, so we'll keep a very close eye on what they do in the secondary tonight, speaking of the Wolfpack of Nevada. Now, how did they get here? Well, first of all, as far as the Wolfpack is concerned, this is the way their season went. They opened up with a loss at Wyoming, then a couple of wins, then a loss, a win, and as they came down the stretch, and you could see a big win over UNLV, 14-10, to 10, right here in the stadium, they finished the season with victories over Utah State and Texas Southern. And there is the man who directs them. 17 years for Chris Alt and a winning percentage of 71%. Now, what about Bowling Green? How did they get here? This is the way they opened their season. They won over Western Michigan. Then the back-to-back -back losses I talked about in the opening, both to Ohio State and Wisconsin. And Mike, they had six turnovers in both of those ball games. Then they won everything else. They closed it out with eight straight victories. And the guy who leads them over the last couple of years, Gary Blackney, has been just about as good as you can be. No losses in the conference, only two losses this year, 20 and 3 since coming to Bowling Green. That's pretty good percentage. Pretty good percentage, Ron, and they're going to get the ball first, so Gary Blackney will try to establish the running game. They have a size advantage in the offensive line, establish the running game, play action, passing game with their fine quarterback, Eric White. You could see the tag on the young man standing behind Coach Blackney. Uh, it was really blowing about. One of the things we will keep a close eye on, and in fact, we'll be going down to Charlene to see exactly what it is doing down on the field. But the, for the couple of days that we've been here, the wind in the stadium really whistles around, but it's not necessarily a consistent wind. Since both like to throw the football, some coaches say they'd rather have rain than the wind because of what it does. I don't like wind throwing the football, but ne Nevada throws the ball, Bowling Green will throw it. The only effect I think the wind will have tonight is in the punting game. Well, you look at Lester, who will kick it off for Nevada. Seven and four on the season for them. And they kick off to Bowling Green, who had only two losses. Nine and two, Johnson back deep. 19.6 yards per return. The crowd is on their feet down below, and we are just about set to get this one underway. kicks it away with the win and this will come down to Johnson five yards deep and he'll go down on one knee so here are the starters for Bowling Green now the man that makes it go number seven Eric White 6'6 quarterback MVP in the conference for the last two years that's in the back the, the wide receivers they are very good Slachik is the man that they go to. 82 receptions and seven touchdowns. And up front, an experienced offensive line. But the guy that they call their best offensive lineman is the left tackle, Joe Wise. A 6'5 junior. Out of oh, kick it on the ground. Singleton picks it up anyway. 25, 30, breaks it open at the 35, and he's all the way out to the 41-yard line. 23 yards on the return. Eric White, the quarterback, on the touchdown with a good fake. Now, good pressure by Nevada, but look at Eric White. He's so strong, six foot six, able to get the ball to Leroy Smith, the fullback, and then he powers his way in for the score. Leroy Smith, and you see the drive. He plays 80 yards, 333, five runs and three passes. Dedrick Holmes is the lone setback behind Gatlin. Play action, pressure from the backside. He's going to go on top on first down, and he's got more incomplete. Reeves had it, and then he dropped it.